All right, so it looks like we have got a perfect spot right here, right in the center of the National Mall. Perfect spot. All right, so we've got the water tank filled up. And if you guys didn't notice already, I am still currently at my house because I am waiting for a spot to open up at the mechanic so I can get all of the fluids changed out in the van, the windshield fix, and a bunch of other stuff that I wanna get done to the van before I head out on my road trip. And I'll probably get that done sometime later this week. But for now, we're just staying at home. And I think today I'm gonna to get into a little bit of stealth camping. And I think we're gonna head into DC and stealth camp on the National Mall, which is gonna be super fun. I've done it before and I cooked some cheesesteaks, but I think tonight we're gonna to make some Gourmet Ramen, hang out on the National Mall and probably watch the Caps game in DC since they're playing tonight. But um, yeah, since the last time you guys saw me camping out in the van uh, about a week ago, not including the hot tank camping video that I did, I have made some upgrades to the van, most of which just cosmetic, nothing really has changed. Um, but this is probably the biggest upgrade I made. So I went to Ikea and I got a pegboard for the wall right here that's kind of in my gaming area. So I got these two plans that I hung up right here. And one of the biggest issues that I had was the, the microphones that I use for my camera were always just kind of charging out of my desk and taking up a lot of space. But now I've ran the uh, charging cords back behind this pegboard right here. So now I can just set them up up here, let them charge and they're out of the way. I have somewhere to hang my headphones so they're not just draped over my TV and then just a couple other miscellaneous things that I have stored up here now. So I think this looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, today will be the maiden voyage with it up. So we'll see if anything falls off or rattles and I might have to put some sticky tape or something on it to make it stay a little bit better. But this is the first time I'm gonna drive with it. So I guess we'll see together. And then if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I used to hang my laptop here and strap it to the wall, but I just moved that over here. So now it's strapped to the wall on this side and it fits perfectly fine. So that worked out well. Also, I have organized all of my upper cabinets. So I've got all of these shelves. This is my new camera cabinet. This is like my plates and bowls. This was my plates and bowls before, but it's a little bit more organized now. I got some different plates and bowls. This is now my camera cabinet and I've got an additional shelf for pretty much every single one of my cabinets. So all of my cabinets have that little shelf that I can store stuff on. And it just gives me a little bit of extra space to, uh, to utilize within the cabinets, but they're all organized. They're all looking a lot prettier than they did on my last trip. So I'm super happy about that, but that's pretty much it for the uh, upgrades and changes that I have made to the van so far. Uh, there's a couple more things that I want to do and then all of the stuff that I need to get fixed mechanically. But other than that, super happy with the, uh, the way the van is looking. But anyways, it's getting kind of late. It's like 2.30, so I think I'm going to hit the road to DC and see if we can find ourselves a stealth camping spot. I'm hoping that I can get a spot directly on the National Mall in Washington DC because there's two roads that kind of cut across the National Mall that you can technically park overnight at whether it's allowed to sleep there is kind of up in the air there's no sign saying no overnight sleeping no overnight camping um, but you're allowed to park there overnight I think it's from like 9 p.m. to like 8 a.m. you're allowed to park for free you don't have to pay the meter and then uh, and then all the other hours is like two hour parking paid meter so hopefully we can find a spot there but for now let's hit the road into DC see if we can get into some self camping So before we actually head into DC, I gotta stop at the grocery store and pick up some stuff so I can cook dinner tonight. And I think that's the only thing that we gotta do before we uh, head in there. Thank you very much. Two. 
All right, let's hit the road. The only thing I'm really worried about uh, tonight is since it's such nice weather out, it's like 60 degrees in January, so I'm expecting there to be a ton of people hanging out of the National Mall, so I might not be able to find a spot directly where I wanna park when I get there, so I might have to park somewhere else and then move over to that spot later at night once everyone has kind of left the National Mall and uh, take my campsite, but I'm not too sure. I guess we'll see once we get there. So we've made it to the city and the spot that we're parking should be just about a half mile down this road right on the center of the National Mall. <clears throat> it doesn't look like it's too, too crowded, but I know that there is not a lot of spots on this road where I'm trying to park. So I'm really hoping that I can find one. Right up there is where I'm trying to park. And if you'll see, there's like 600 food trucks. So they take up a good amount of the spots. It looks like there might be a spot right there. If I can get turned around quick enough and take it. Okay. So this is where we're gonna park and hopefully camp tonight. Oh, never mind. Metro bus zone. Yeah, we can't park here. Never mind. This is the metro bus zone. All right. So I wasn't able to find a spot directly on the mall, but I just found this spot that's kind of just down the street, like right next to all of the food trucks. So you can see where the food trucks that we drove by are right there. And then I'm parked kind of just down the street from them. I might move to find a uh, nicer spot later tonight, but for now this will do good. First things first, we gotta pay for parking. Yeah. All right, well, the uh, parking meter isn't working, so I'm just gonna park there and hope that I don't get a ticket. And I guess if I do, I can fight it in court saying <laughs> that the parking meter wasn't working. So last time when I slept here, I slept right here in this first spot. It was absolutely perfect, but we just didn't get lucky this time because there's so many people down here. Ideally, we'll get a spot like right here later tonight. But I think for now, since we're here, I'm gonna go check out some of the museums. So we're walking back to the van now. It looks like some of these food trucks have started to thin out and some spots are starting to open up, especially on the other side over there. So I think I'm going to whip the van around and take one of these spots on this side that have opened up here, get ourselves a campsite for the night. Beautiful, no tickets, nice. All right, let's go see if we can snag one of those spots. And yes, that was a completely legal U-turn. All right, so it looks like we have got a perfect spot right here. It does not get much better than this. Right in the center of the National Mall, perfect spot. Beautiful. Now this is the spot I was looking for at the beginning. Van right there, Washington Monument down there. Pretty nice. All right, now that we've got our spot for the night, right on the side of the road, I think I'm gonna get started cooking some dinner. And tonight we're making one of my favorite meals of all time since I recently discovered it. Gourmet Parmesan garlic ramen. Also, I always get a lot of people that uh, question and ask when I'm parked, if I ever get scared camping while living in a van. And a lot of people think that I would get more scared 
when I'm camping out in the wilderness in the middle of nowhere with nobody around and barely any cell signal but honestly i get 10 times more scared when i'm camped in the city in places like this because i don't really worry about animals or anything getting into the van like you would if you slept in a tent or something like that because i'm inside of this gigantic metal box so i don't really have to worry about bears or anything coming in in the middle of the night and when you're out in the wilderness that's pretty much typically the only thing you have to worry about so i honestly prefer sleeping out there the one thing that I do worry about is people. And that is definitely something you have to worry about when you're in the city. If they see you getting in and out of this van with all these bright lights and all this stuff in here, um, they might come back and target you later. People break into cars all the time. And there's just so many more things that can go wrong when you're uh, camping in the city. I've done it so many times that I'm used to it now and I know that once I get here, I pretty much keep my doors closed. And then whenever I go to leave, I'll leave out the front door and I'll make sure these lights are off. But yeah, camping in cities is definitely a little bit more stressful than out in the wilderness. But anyways, let's get started on cooking. First things first, cook the shrimp, cook the ramen, and then we'll make the sauce. I'm also really not sure how allowed this is. I'm sure it's not encouraged, so I'm also really hoping that I don't get woken up in the middle of the night and uh, kicked out of this spot, so that would not be fun. Okay, now that we've got all those shrimp peeled, I'm gonna wash my hands. Get some butter in the pan, get that melted. And then we can just throw these bad boys in there, toss in a little sauce, get those nice and coated. Ideally, ideally you'd let these marinate for like a little while before just cooking them, but I don't really have time and I don't really care. All right, so I just loosely wiped out the pan that the shrimp were in, got some olive oil in there, and then we're gonna add some butter, some minced garlic, soy sauce, gochujang, and then some heavy cream and they didn't have any at the store so we're just using half and half with a little bit of butter. Then we can add in some parsley that I chopped off camera and then Parmesan cheese. Then we can stir all of that up, mix it together. And this is gonna be the, uh, the sauce that we coat our ramen in. All right, the sauce looks like it's just about done. The ramen is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain that out. Then we can take this, add it directly into the sauce, top it with those shrimp. I guess some additional parsley, and then mix that all together. Now we can take it and we can plate it up. Add some of those shrimp to the top. Then we can top that with some green onions. And there we go. That is our gourmet van life ramen noodles on the streets of DC. Let's see, because I'm starving. It's crazy that it's January and I'm almost sweating in the back of my van. So nice out. Oh. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, that is so good. I know that I've cooked a lot of stuff on this channel and in a bunch of different places, but if there's one recipe that I make that you should try, it's this one right here. This is by far the best ramen noodles I think I've ever had in my life. I'll put the link to the recipe in the description below. I got it from a video on TikTok, so I'll just link that TikTok video and then uh, you guys should definitely go try this out. All right, I just finished dinner. Got this whole mess back here that I gotta clean up. And then I'm gonna see if I can get the uh, Caps game pulled up on the TV because they're playing in 10 minutes. And by clean, I mean, throw everything in the sink and I will clean it later. There we go. We got the game pulled up on the TV and I think I'm gonna take you guys outside because I don't think I've ever showed you guys what the van looks like at night from the outside with all of these lights on. So I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna go out the uh, front over here and I'll just show you guys how well these uh, blackout curtains 
and blackout shades back there work for keeping all this light in the van and not uh, not letting any out. But as you can see, we've got all of the lights on in the back of the van. Make sure these curtains are fully closed. And then I'll take you guys outside real quick. This is looking into the front of the van. I'll click the, uh, I'll click the light so you can see. But this is looking straight into the front, so you know how bright it is in there with all those lights on and you can't see anything at all. You can see a little bit of leakage right through that right side there, but that's only because the Velcro that I usually have up there has like kind of come off, so it doesn't stay fully closed on that right side. But other than that, there's pretty much nothing. And then if you walk around to the back, you get some leakage through there because the, uh, the screen is kind of scrunched down, so it's bent. But other than that, if you stand directly behind it, you pretty much can't see anything and you would never know that there's all those bright lights. And those are the only two windows or openings that I have on the van, so there's really nowhere else for light to even leak out, potentially, so. It is a pretty decent stealth build where you wouldn't really know that someone's living in there unless you looked really hard. There's also been like constant sirens going on in the city, which is kind of annoying, but I expect that to um, die down a bit as the night goes on and it gets and it gets later, but there you go. I don't think I've ever showed you guys that. There we go. It's kind of laggy right now though. And we're actually not too far from uh, this sports bar that's down the street. So if I can't get this TV working good enough, I might walk down there, grab a drink and uh, watch the Caps game before I head back here to go to bed. All right, I've been trying to get this to work for a little while. It, it, it works, but it's just kind of too spotty. I think it might be the connection or it keeps freezing up. So I think I'm gonna walk down to the bar that's kind of nearby, watch the Caps game, and then we're gonna come back here and uh, camp out for the night. I gotta get myself on a uh, hoodie though first because it is getting a little bit cold outside. And walking down to the bar actually works too because I've gotta go to the bathroom. And this road has really cleared out now. There's nobody on this side of the road. There's still a bunch of cars on the other side of the road and I honestly think that the reason there's all these beat up cars you can't really see them but there's just a line of old beat up cars on the other side of the road I think it's because it's the food trucks who leave them there overnight so that when they wake up in the morning and come here to get their spot it's saved for them because last time I was here there was a bunch of beat up old looking cars parked on this side of the street as well so smart tactic by them and it's super dark out here but let's lock the van up and head down to the bar I was reading the signs that are posted on these poles when I was walking out of the van. And apparently you can't park on the side of the road here from 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. from Monday through Fridays. And I don't know exactly why, but that just means we're gonna have to wake up super early tomorrow, like 6.45, and uh, move from our spot so we don't get a ticket and or get towed. So this is where we're going, Penn Quarter Sports Tavern. Take this table right here. Nice view of the game. Thank you very much. All right, so the bar is closing because there was like two other people there. I understand the second period, so they're not gonna finish out the game. So I'm heading back to the van now. Currently nine o'clock, so I'll probably be going to bed soon. Maybe I'll play some video games before I go to bed. The more that I think about it, the more that I realize that this is an absolutely crazy campsite that I'm able to stay here overnight. I can't believe that this is one of the spots that uh, you can stealth camp if you live in a van. The bar was nice. I've been there a couple times before since I grew up in the area. And um, it's still a little bit early. I probably won't go to bed for another hour, hour and a half. So I think I'm gonna play some Xbox just to kill some time. And then we're gonna go to bed and hope that we don't um, get woken up in the middle of the night and told to leave. And also I forgot that I never gave you guys a uh, update on the pegboard while I was driving. It looks like everything held up pretty well. These plants kind of slid around a little bit, which I kind of expected. I mean, I'm gonna eventually put some sticky tape on the bottom of these so they don't move, but Everything else looks like it held up pretty well. Nothing really fell off. The head headset is in there pretty secure. I didn't expect that to fall, but all of these stayed in. Nothing fell off, so so far so good. 
Let's play some Xbox. So for some reason, my router isn't working too well. So I'm just connecting to my iPhone to use that as a hotspot because, because if you haven't watched my channel before, I've talked about it, but surprisingly playing games uses little to no data at all. So my phone's hotspot is more than good enough for playing games when I need it. So that's really nice. All right, it's getting late. It's like 10 p.m. So I think it's time to uh, head to bed and say goodnight to DC. And it has uh, definitely quieted down since earlier tonight. It's definitely not as loud. There's not as many cops driving by. There's not as many cars driving by. So I should be able to get a pretty decent night's sleep in here tonight. I think I'm gonna hop into bed and I will check in with you guys in the morning. It is currently 6 46 a.m i've been up for about 30 minutes because it's gotten a lot louder outside uh, a lot more cars are driving by people are starting to go to work it is a wednesday morning so that makes sense but it woke me up about 45 minutes ago and i couldn't fall back asleep so i've just been laying here in bed since but i think i have to get out of this spot that i'm currently in within the next 10 minutes it is still pretty dark outside the sun is just kind of beginning to come up over there on the left but it won't be fully up for another like 30 minutes so I was hoping that we would get a nice sunrise here when, when I woke up, but looks like it might not happen until after I leave this spot. I actually did get a pretty decent night's sleep last night. Once it hit 12 o'clock, there was really not that much traffic going by and I fell asleep pretty quickly, but, but I think first things first, I'm gonna get some pants on so that I can open up that door and uh, make myself some coffee. There we go. Look at that beautiful sunrise over the, uh, Capitol building, not too bad. Definitely not a bad view for uh, this morning's cup of joe. All right, so it is currently seven o'clock, so I'm already pushing my luck a little bit, staying in this spot for uh, any more amount of time. Uh, the coffee's really hot. There we go. We successfully did it. Stealth camping overnight in DC on the National Mall. Got myself a, uh, had myself a nice, uh, Washington DC Airbnb for the night. But I think I'm gonna get out of here now before I get myself a ticket, maybe head down the road, grab some breakfast. But as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, please make sure you click that subscribe button. It really does help. And there is a ton more content to come. If you're new to the channel and you didn't just watch my 20 day series where I posted a video every single day driving across the country, then you might not know this, but I am leaving on another cross country trip here in about a week and a half going from Maryland down to Florida, and then from Florida up to Alaska. So there's a ton of stuff that I have planned and I'm super excited to get started on that journey. So if you enjoy my content and you want to see more, please make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on notifications and I will catch you guys next time.